If you want to know about your mother's work, see me tomorrow at the club, your admirer. Don't go there, Bianca. Mm. Invitation? Show me your invitation or get lost. This isn't an open club, girl. Oh, I knew it. You are the invited guest of honor. Welcome, the lovely young lady, to the Golden Swan Club. Please, make yourself at home. Your host is on the second floor. Hmm. Hmm? Bianca, over here. Long time no see. The director of Capital City Bank. What brings you to the Golden Swan Club? An invitation? Oh, really? I wonder who from? Something tells me you already know. He's waiting for you upstairs. While you're here, try to enjoy the parties, won't you, Bianca? It's not every day someone from the middle class gets to experience this place. This place is disgusting. She's totally like her mother, isn't she? Yup. Woo! Let's go to gambling tables! Yes. Uh, welcome, Miss Abercrombie. Huh? Ah, it's you! So good to see you again! Wowzers, you were one of the hardest sells I ever had to make, and you still declined me at the end. That makes an impression, you know. Are you the one who invited me? What do you want? Me? I didn't invite you, girly. Not sure what you're on about. I'm just here enjoying the festivities. The Yellow Corporation sponsored all tonight's events. Apparently, they're making a special announcement just for the ears of the elite. So exciting. I don't care. <laughs> Miss Abercrombie, this way. You're late, Sylvester. I was just admiring the club, Mr. Yellow. Please, Miss Abercrombie, sit down. Why did you invite me here? Just to talk. How do you know about my mother? You really don't remember me, Bianca? I'm hurt. We were best friends. What are you talking about? I was somewhat doubtful at first, but you truly have no memory of any of it, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. Tell me what you know, or I'm leaving. Go on. Take a look. <laughs> what is this? I don't remember this. They really messed up your memory, didn't they? <laughs> but to be honest, after what we went through, that's a mercy. What? <laughs> Everything in the city was planned for us a hundred years ago. We are merely the pieces being played. Uh, what are you talking about? But it doesn't have to be that way, Bianca. <laughs> I can change the ending. <laughs> Mr. Yellow, it's about to start. Bianca, I wanted you to be among the first to see it. The fruit of our labor. One would call it a finale of sorts. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to welcome you all. The upper echelon of Capital City Society. Your mother sacrificed her life for this project. It's only right that you're here. My mother? Without further ado, I present to you the future of Capital City Society. <laughs> <laughs> Capital City, the last great American city after the outbreak. Built in 1970 by decree of President Reginald J. Thompson, the last president of the United States. Equipped with the latest medical innovations, with large sprawling hospitals and emergency care centers, citizens of Capital City would live in safety from mutations. But time was running out, and the federal budget had been stretched thin fighting outbreaks across the states. And that was when famous American businessman Harold Yellow stepped into the picture. And out of the goodness of his heart, Mr. Harold Yellow funded the construction effort and the city went on its way to completion. And then, it happened. Ah! Ah! Yeah! Ah! Help! Ah! Welcome to Capital City, a new home. People from all over America traveled to Capital City looking for a new home. The great Harold Yellow accepted them all with open arms. This part is a lie. Only those my grandfather deemed of use were let in. First, his billionaire friends. Then, politicians, scientists, celebrities. After that, the young, the strong, and those with good genes or looks. Hundreds of thousands were turned away, and hundreds of thousands died to the outbreak. My grandfather was a mass murderer. There was work for everyone in Capital City. Harold Yellow organized it all as the first mayor of Capital City. Schools, libraries, parks, recreational centers, Capital City had enough to provide for all. 
all was good in Capital City, but the kindness and acceptance is a double-edged sword. <laughs> Even with careful examination of every new citizen, somehow the outbreak found its way in. It took the combined manpower expertise of the best and brightest scientists of our city to quell this outbreak. The city was saved, but it would never again be the same. Mutations lurk around every corner. Even the environment itself has begun to mutate. The once great bastion of humanity's ingenuity and a symbol of hope is rotting. The finest minds of our city have tried to cure the virus for generations, but we now know it is impossible. <laughs> impossible? 